Greetings, Internet, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. It is time to take on Maxi slash Groudon. I oh God, sorry. Damn it. Do I need to do this, or can I just? I need to do it. Dang it. And here it was like I ended the last episode thinking like we'd walk in and it'd be like insta cut screen. And it'd just be like time to fight, but nope. They had other plans for me apparently. I don't think I need to do this, but. Fuck it, why not? Did I fuck it up? I think I fucked it up. I think I fucked up the puzzle. Hold on, that. And I had that all big, exciting intro all set and ready to go. So if I do. If. Yes, I know. So I do this. And then. This. And then this. Yay, we did it! Alright, now. God damn it. <laughs> we see lava though, so we must be getting close. Come on, Tabitha, I'm sure you're around here somewhere. Yes, here's another ruffle. Ooh, this is looking like it's it. Look at that hole. Ooh, I see a TM. Well then, I'll leave Swamp Hulk the way he is for now, but we'll definitely, get, actually, ah, fuck it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how pathetic you appear now, the fool, Archie. Ugh. Maxi, you. Hey, good, I do have time. Let's see if anyone else can learn Earthquake. Oh, yeah, like Zuko, duh. Of course. So we'll just teach it to Zuko for now. Get rid of Earth power. Because. Swamp Hulk. Like, I don't want to get rid of Rock Slide on Swamp Hulk. You do have the heart to. And, you know what? That's fine. We just won. Alright. I see ground on down there. Let's do this. <laughs> Just as I predicted. L little scheme. Even I, the great Maxi, have found myself wishing for something I cannot justify. And the illogical desire that I harbored was to have you, pre have you present here at this moment. <laughs> and now that fool's wish has come true. Fantastic. Nothing could please me more. I suppose I should make introductions. I present to you my incomparable partner who will assist Team Magma in driving him forward to its next level. The super ancient Pokemon Groudon. Behold, this great form slumbering in defiance of even the boiling lava surrounding it. So long have I waited for this day, immeasurably long. This foolish world has held back humanity's progress, misguided idealism, regard coexistence of humans and Pokemon. But this ancient creature can bring that to its rightful end, creating a new land upon which humanity may stride freely forward. Now that I have the la last obtained the power of primal Groudon, now you are the final obstacle remaining between me and my goals. It behooves me to use every tool at my disposal to eliminate you. Indeed, even Mega Evolution. Do not delude yourself that you and your Pokemon are the only ones capable of it. I must apologize for making you wait. <coughs> <coughs> I'm alive. Whew. And that's why I'm not a professional voice actor. Wait through our encounters at Mount Chimney and Mount Pier. Without treating you to this sight, brace yourself, my ultimate attack. <laughs> oh, it's 
time. Bring it on, Maxi. I'm not afraid of you. Let's do this. Yo, mighty Anna. Hey, this reminds me of the final fight with Lysander with everything on fire. Alright, Mishy. We're not messing around here. We're going straight for the sky uppercut. <laughs> Move your mighty Anna out of the way. Let's see the mega cam rupt. Hey, Zuko, welcome to level 41. Wheezing. You know what, Mishy? I want you to stay in. And we will power up Punch the Wheezing. Although I guess I could have... It doesn't matter. Well, that's upsetting. Come on, Mishy, you can do it. Yeah! Please to go, Mishy, with one HP! You are the golden gem of Hoenn! Oh, my... Endeavor. No. I meant to say no. Keep old moves. Oh, live to the explosion with one HP! Takedown. Absolutely not. Yes. Crobat. Yeah, we should definitely switch now, Negi. You did your job. Crobat. So we'll let Negi jump in. Come on, Act, Mishy. You've done your part. Let's go, Negi. <coughs> All right. Let's psychic. Oh, God. You can do it. Negi, you can live. Yeah, there you go. Way to use that rocky helmet. Mm-hmm. Come on, Maxi. You don't have shit on us. And I know who's last. I know who your third one is. It's your mega camera. And that's just fine. Because I see your mega and I raise you one. It's a mega fight time. Oh, look at that. I'm even higher level. Well, let's go ahead and just do what we know is going to be done. Oh, let's do it. Urgh. Mega Evolve! Sweet. Alright, come on. Your turn. Mega Fight. Mega Glasses? That's funny. Look at him! Look at him! He's so awesome! I love it! I absolutely love it. It's about to be destroyed, but I absolutely love him. Ah, oh, sorry, Mitch. Sorry to do that to you, Mega Cam Rupt. Ah, oh, it's decided so. Ah, that's right. Kick your ass. You've really done it, child. You've shown a power that exceeds even that of the great Maxi. I added words to that sentence. Hello? Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 splendid. Just splendid, my young trainer. No, it's more than that. I should be calling you my young hero. Believing until the very end that a world where humanity and Pokemon coexist must be the best, rejecting my ideals without a second thought. Yes, watching you struggle desperately to halt the beginning of the world's end. You are undoubtedly a hero. So noble. And yet, I will not yield. I will not bend. My ideals will not be shaken. My dream for the world's next step forward will never change. I will use the red orb to awaken Groudon, revert it to its primal form, and put an end to all else. Oh, it's Tabitha. Tabitha, do stop that now. Please, Maxie, you just don't understand. The Groudon will bring upon the world awakening. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Did you think I had not noticed that I had somehow failed to realize you were after my spot? Such a sad development indeed, to be betrayed by my number two. In the end, there's only one being upon which I can depend. Now, Groudon. Absorb all the power resting in this red orb and reclaim yourself. Revert to your primal form. This is the time to take back the great evolution you lost in the ancient past. Reclaim the possibility you once held. Ah, oh, you. 
I should have saved now that I'm thinking about it. Oops. It's kind of weird that Archie's here, just like chilling. We're just gonna watch. Sup, bitches! <laughs> Primal? Burst out of the ground like it was nothing. Supernova. This is intense. Look at him go. Hey, right for Moss Steve? No, it's not Moss Steve. I don't know what that is. Ooh, will I get the chance to save? Good. I think so. <laughs> at last, at last, I've finally done it. A new world for human evolution will be born. We shall stride forward. Oh, what have you done, boss? What? A message from our members outside? What is it? So the sun has turned mer mercilessly fierce in its heat? I should expect so. That is what I have long... No, what we have long wished for. What? The heat is greater than simulations predicted. It will be a risk to our own safety if it continues? That cannot be. It is only just awoken. Where is it getting so much power from? And how much more will it gain when it does undergo primal reversion? C continue your readings, then report back. <clears throat> Boss! <clears throat> Plus, Maxi, just what's happening on the surface? All that matters is that I've used the Red Orb to awaken Groudon, and now I will transform this planet to an I land ideal for humanity. Hey, Maxi, looks like we underestimated the power of the super ancient Pokemon, the power of primal reversion. What did you say? Primal Groudon brings an end, all right, but what you do. You don't get to choose what end. It's going to drive every living thing on this planet to its death. The only thing waiting for us is despair. A despair we can't even run from. A despair that's going to crush humanity. You blasted fool. And it's all happening because you were cocky enough to think you could control the super ancient Pokemon's power. So the information we received from the Weather Institute was true. Maxi, we never get anywhere just standing around here like this. There is just a moment to spare. We must confirm the situation outside. Child, you're coming too. Hurry up. F fuck you. Why do I have to listen to you? You've been trying to stop me this whole time. You're a bad guy. Ooh, that heat. I'm gonna turn down the sun. Shit's going down. This, this is not. What? I, I wanted, I wanted to make... It was supposed to be a world where the human race would attain new heights, the next stage of our development. It was all for humanity's future. Bosh. Maxi. So this is the power of the super ancient Pokemon. This is how Groudon brings everything to an end. All of us. People. Pokemon. Every living thing on this planet. Everything's gonna die. Okay, little scamp. We're setting sail for Sutopop. Sutopolis? That blasted ground is no doubt going to get there ahead of us. <clears throat> It'll be waiting for us deep in the Cave of Origin, there in Stupolopolopolopolis. There's a pool of energy there that folks say is needed for primal reversion. There's no doubt in my mind that Groudon will be racing to that cave, thirsting for that power. We have no choice but to get over ourselves. we got to do whatever we can to fight back. All right, Maxie. You team magma... Blah, Blighters better come with us. We're responsible for this mess, this ridiculous, impossible mess. It only makes sense for us all to step up and clean it up ourselves. Agreed? <clears throat> Let's go, Maxie. Guess not. Hey, little skip. Look, I'm supposed to be a grown-up, right? So let me say sorry for the way this has gone down. 
and I'm sorry because I've got to ask you to pinch, to pinch in with the cleanup. We need every hand on our deck if we're going to do something about this mess. So, I'll be waiting for you in Stupalapalikadapadupalis. Hey, isn't that the symbol? Hey, Steven, you're a little late to the party. Sorry I'm not talking much, but this is so cool. Sir Swaggleton, I'm sorry. I could not be here sooner. Terrible. So this is what was being depicted in that painting in Granite Cave. If this doesn't stop, all Hoenn. No, the entire world will burn up. Nothing could live in such a land of death, neither Pokemon nor humans. This dreadful blaze it must be created. Ozba, the sweltering heat wave formed above Stupalapadikadopolis. Come on, Stephen. Think. What are you going to do? No. There's no point in analyzing over the situation from here. I have to go to Stupalapadikadopolis. There must be answers there. Sir Swaggleton, I'll count on you to help with this crisis. But, please, promise you won't do anything reckless. Well then, I'll go ahead to Stupalapadikadopolis. Good luck to you. Wee. Yeah, don't bother taking me with you. And I have to actually travel there. Because I haven't been there yet, so I can't fly there. Literally. Stupid Apadipata. Where is Stupid Apadipata City? Stupid Apadi. Evergrade. Secret Meadow. Where is, is it this? Stupid Apadipata City. It's right there. <clears throat> All right, I guess we're making our way to Stupa Tapa Tipa Tapa Tupa Tapa City. <laughs> wow, well, that was intense this way. Everything's really bright now. Yeah, that was really intense. I'm still like processing what the hell just happened this way. That was intense. Like one of the most intense moments in Pokemon, probably. Yes. Repellent. So, where's the entrance to Stupatapatipatapatupatapa City? I do not wish to fight you. Eh. Come on, I want to get to the plot. I'm super interested in what's happened. Do I have to literally go all the way around to get to the entrance of this place? No. How do I get to the... I have to... I have to dive, don't I? I have to go down and up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Come on, Swap Hulk. We're going underwater. I'm getting a sunburn out here anyway. Ooh, underwater battles. Uh, yes. So I need to find a way back up. I'm sure that's not it. I'd be more impressed with that if it wasn't Love Disc. <laughs> wow. Yo, that looks like an entrance to me. If you ever want an intense moment, just watch that. Alright. We're in Stupa Tapa 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 City. So let's go up and see them. Oh, I should have saved! I have had a chance to save! I really hope it doesn't jump right to a cutscene. Okay. We are going to save while we can. There. And because I am a crazy person, I like to save twice. There. So we're golden. It's really intense over here. Hey! The eighth gym. Do I really have to take on the eighth gym? Like, the world is ending. There's no way it's eighth gym time. Where's the plot? That can't be right. Where's the plot? Where's Groudon? I'm sure he's around somewhere. Where is everybody? Is really bright. No. Let's go to the Poke Center. We hope to see you again. Alright, mates. We need to find that plot. Sir Swaggleton is lost. Edition number whatever. As I don't remember. Groudon's gotta be around here somewhere. This is where he was heading. 
There's no way it's time to take on the 8th gym. It can't be. That would... That'd be dumb. <laughs> so I've got to find it. Did... Was... Is he still in the water? Do I just... Did I just miss him? Must be... Must be around in the water somewhere. He must be. No. Not, what do you mean it's not a time to ride my bike, Dad? God. Alright, so... Only got one left. Used a lot of super ripples. Excuse me. Okay. Groudon. Oh, Groudon. Where are you? Don't care about you. Looking for Groudon. That's where I came up. Right? Yeah, it must be. This must be where I came up. Come on. Okay. So he's not in the water. So is he. Is he over there? He's got to be around here somewhere. Like, I can't imagine even the gym leader would want to be like, where is the plot? What is the point of this? Hmm. Am I missing something? I, hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. There's the mart. They said to go to Stupalapa Dipadapa City. I'm in Stupadapa Dipalapa City. Oh. There he is. There's the plot. And that's the eight gym leader right there, I believe. Sir Swaggleton. <clears throat> so you did come. I've been waiting for you. What a terrible heat. It feels as though the entire world would be burnt away. Ah, yes. You need to hear what my friend has to say. Hello. <sighs> My name is Wallace. I am this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought has been caused by a power emitting from the Cave of Origin. That is the Blue Orb. I see. Follow me. Okie dokie. Ooh, cool. So that's the cave right there, I'm guessing. The sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does the sunlight fill us with so much dread? The blazing sun over Stupadapadipadabadubilis is growing even more intense. Soon, all of Hoenn will be caught under its withering grays. If that were to happen, we would all be incredibly sunburnt. <laughs> Hey guys, how'd you get here first? Well, I know how you got here first, but nice turning. Team Magma, Team Aqua, we've been waiting for you, Scamp. Leader Maxi, to that child. I know what must be done. I will entrust this to you now. It's the fruit of our collaboration with the Devon Corp. And it represents the height of Hoenn's technological knowledge and skill. Is that that suit? Yep. <laughs> we had actually been practic preparing that in anticipation, of making, blah, 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 in anticipation of making contact with Groudon. But at this point, it doesn't look like there's any hope of that for us. There's nothing we can do except leave it to you. And yet... Even with that magma suit, it is probable that anyone could pass through that magma now. How oh, fiercer than ever do the forces of nature. That's true. It's very possible that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. There is nothing to fear. The blue orb he bears. Its ancient powers will protect both the boy and his Pokemon. You've hit the nail on the head. To all those old folks about here did say something about that. That and the red orb would only scrout on his primal powers and trigger a primal reversion, while the blue orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast. So does that mean I get to go in? Yes. The energy overflowing from the Cave of Origin just now. It's the same energy that gives ground on its power. With the blue orb, which comes from the power to suppress that, it should be possible to clay calm the rage of its flo this flood of magma. Of course, the Blue Orb's power alone will not lead you to where Groudon waits. You will not reach Hoenn's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. 
With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. Sir Swaggleton, to think that you have the blue orb, you'll be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it. Whatever happens, I believe that. No man or woman from Stupalapatipadupadopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origins. But you must go, together with your blue orb. You must go regardless of what waits for you inside that cave. We'll also get our people together up top here to help any folks in Pokemon in trouble. My little scamp of a savior. Looks like you're making your bear all the bur- Like that. ba 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 Looks like we're making you bear all the burden on your shoulders alone. I'm sorry for that. But I know you're going to see this through. Child, you. No, I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm. And for that, I apologize most sincerely. But now we find ourselves at an impasse, and you and your Pokemon are all that humanity has to count on this island. I can the stand against Groudon. The fate of our world, the world which all humanity thrives, the fate of our world rests in your hands. And then there's May. <laughs> Sir Swaggleton, I heard on the news that things were going haywire around Stupalapadipadopadopolis. And then I saw you on Buzznow, Sir Swaggleton. I couldn't sit there and do nothing when I knew you were here at the thick of it, so I came flying. What? Isn't that Team Magma and Team Aqua? Okay, can I just say that I am, like, shocked and confused on so many levels right now? This is probably something way bigger than I can imagine, isn't it? So I'm not even going to ask right now. I'm going to try and find what I can do to help, and then I'm going to do my best with that. And I'm going to keep on hoping and believing that y you'll be okay out there, Swaggleton. Because I love you. Because you, you're the best friend I have. Aw, we have friend zone. That's okay. We have Courtney. <laughs> All righty. We're actually going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right here before we go take on Primal Groudon. If you enjoyed this episode, please give that like button a nice little poke for me subscribe for more and come back next time when we take on primal ground on and until then i'll see you guys next time